I'm Marlon Schmidt. I represent the riding of Edmonton Gold Bar, which is in the southeast part of Edmonton. It's a well-established part of the city, uh, having been built mostly between the 1940s and 1960s. It feels like a small town in the heart of a pretty big city. Thank you to all of the organizers and volunteers involved for all of your hard work. I try to get out into the neighborhoods as often as I can, whether that's attending community events or going to schools or going door to door and meeting people one on one. It's my job as the MLA to represent the people of Edmonton Gold Bar and I need to be out there listening to what's on their minds in order to be able to do that effectively. Certainly getting an economy that works for the majority of the people of Alberta is probably the, the top thing on my list. You know, people in the middle class are falling behind and uh, I think people are afraid that their children won't have the same opportunities that they had when they were kids. I live in a constituency that was built 50 years ago and 50 years ago people were filled with this sense of hope that not only could they work for a better life for themselves, but that their children would end up with a, a, a better standard of living and a better quality of life than they had. And I don't think that people still have that sense of hope. You know, I've learned that government can really be a, a force for positive change in people's lives. We can't be reliant solely on oil and gas as we go forward. And seeing us take concrete action in terms of economic diversification and Showing leadership on tackling climate change has been something that the people of Gold Bar have really appreciated. I'm very proud of the Climate Leadership Plan. If we don't take decisive action to deal with climate change and to transition our economy off of the reliance of oil and gas, and you know, we recognize that oil and gas will be a significant part of our economy for the foreseeable future. But we need to plan for the day when it won't be. And if we want Alberta to be a vibrant and uh, prosperous place to live into the future, we need to plan for that day. It's really the, the future well-being and prosperity of our children and grandchildren that's at stake.